Welcome back to RGR. This is Ryan. I'm going to give you a short one today. Dan and I are trying to do a little bit more of this instant reaction type stuff. I wanted to make sure you got my thoughts on Bashad Breland. If you're not subbed, go ahead and do that now. Click the button for the uh, the like and the, the notification bell as well. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm out walking around uh, trying to get things done for uh, the rest of my life and this happened this morning and Bashad Breland is going to get suspended they announced that they're expecting four for the infraction against the uh, substance abuse policy now we've known that was coming for a while that's not much of a shock it's interesting to me that they announced it as just four games because I would expect that they're going to appeal that and according to Schefter, it looks like it's it's those four games for that infraction, which is the initial suspension. Hopefully the appeal will knock that down some because they definitely need him around and available. You're talking about games against the Texans, the Chargers, uh, then the Ravens. And I mean, the Patriots aren't a total afterthought or they shouldn't be. They might be at this point, but it comes to be that he needs to get a couple of things done. Uh, and that appeal is one of them because that's not the only thing that we expect to see some kind of disciplinary action for. It comes down to that's part of it. But there's also the arrest that has to have a consequence too. And I fear that that's gonna be something else that's fairly significant together with two infractions, both of them uh, under appeal, I would have hoped that maybe they could get them down to four total. So that's gotta be the goal. If you're Bashad, if you're the Chiefs, you have to cross your fingers because the, the cornerback depth is pretty thin at this point. And there's really not much they can do about it. We've talked about Logan Ryan. We've talked about Tremaine Johnson. I don't really think either of those are options the Chiefs are interested in. They might work. They might be viable for what we think but the Chiefs don't seem to be very interested and that's kind of the issue. So I don't think that they're gonna move in that direction unless they think it's gonna be a prolonged absence, uh, more than just four games. So we'll see what comes back with that. In the meantime, they've made a couple of additions. Uh, one of them being Adrian Colbert, a guy that I think can play probably both, but has had a little bit of success in the league so far. You heard me talk to him on the Locked On Chiefs podcast a few years ago when he was in the pre-draft process uh, before he was with the team and I told you then that I thought he was a guy that had the skill set that could fit and that was under the Sutton regime so it's definitely different but definitely a guy that I still think has the ability to do that whether he'll come in and play the corner role uh, if this is a direct replacement we don't really know or if maybe he's got something else up his sleeve more in the safety lines uh, I don't think that that's probably it because I think they have to like what they got going. They seem to be high on Tedrick Thompson. They still have Armani Watts, although I understand he's not running with the, the ones or twos so that uh, Tedrick Thompson's getting time up there with the ones. Until maybe today because Juan Thornhill got back to practice and I think that is probably the most significant thing of the day because as good as Bashad Breland has been coming up making plays, it's coverage over the top that has helped. And I think with his absence, Juan Thornhill is definitely a guy that can make up for that in terms of overall ability to defend the pass, to be kind of the vacuum cleaner back there, the last line of defense is exactly what they need. Now that doesn't mean that they're not gonna make another addition. I think that they still possibly could, but I'm not sure that they have to. And really it's about what Brett Veach and Andy Reid feel they need to get done and what the likelihood is of the appeal for Breland Plus, if they think they're even going to have to deal with the suspension uh, for the arrest this season, or if they might get a pass until afterwards. So if they do get that extra time, I think that helps them quite a bit in having to make uh, any kind of, of rash move. But it gives you the, the room to breathe a little bit, I think. It's terrible to, to be without a started corner. Uh, to start the season but there are worse things and i think they're going to end up being all right because of it they have some young talent that they're real happy with and they're just going to have to ride with them uh, i do believe still that uh, legerius Sneed is going to come along and i think he's a guy that can fill uh, multiple roles and still do some good work for them 
It's just going to be how quickly can he get up to speed? How quickly uh, can he do the things that they need him to do? So that's it for me. Uh, general reaction to the news of the day. We'll have more for you this week. Uh, I'm done up here at about 10,000 feet. I think I'm going to go finish my work and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.